Drew here at Frisco Tennis Shop. Just want to do a real brief video about replacing the grommets in the Bablot Pure Aero Series. Uh, if you're looking for a video, a detailed video of how to replace tennis grommets, I'll link to it below. I did a pretty detailed video of how to replace grommets, how to apply heat to the grommets using an awl or a screwdriver to put those grommets in. So if you're looking for just a basic grommets video, I'll link to it there. Uh, but the Bablot Pure Aero racket's a little bit different. Uh, its grommets are not symmetrical. Most rackets, the three and nine grommet set will be symmetrical, so it won't matter what side you put those on. The Bablot Pure Aero series has a specific place where that starting notch should go. And it won't work if you get those backwards. So a simple way to remember it is on the side with the starting knot, you want the grommet piece that has 22 grommets to be on that side. And then I'll have a corresponding piece that has seven grommets. So just repeat, if you're doing the grommets on the Bablot Pure Aero, the side with the starting knot should have 22 grommets on that piece, and up right above it should be the piece with seven grommets. On the other side, it'll be 21 grommets and eight grommets. So it's different, it's not gonna be symmetrical. So that's just a very simple way to remember. Uh, I didn't see a lot of information when I Googled it. Remember that it's not symmetrical, that 22 and seven should be on the side of where the starting knot should be. So that's how you replace the grommets on a Bablot Pure Aero. It may save you some time. The first time I tried to do it, couldn't figure it out, so I had them backwards. So that's where it should go when you're placing the grommets on a Bablot Pure Aero racket. This has been Drew from Frisco Tennis Shop, and I hope to talk soon.